What is up techies? In today's video, I'll share with you the top 5 mistakes that people make in any technical interviews. Now, without wasting any time, number 1, not asking questions. It is very important in technical interviews to clarify your doubts or ask a follow-up question if any. Typically, not asking questions will give an impression of either you are disinterested or not very bright. Also, while asking questions, make sure to avoid questions like what does your company do or how much salary will I get? Rather, try to ask about the day-to-day -day responsibilities or how the work culture is. This will tell you a lot about the workflow of your team and the kind of surroundings you are about to work in. Number two, memorizing the code for data structures and algorithms. Memorizing is a very bad idea for an interview. Rather, focus on learning the concepts thoroughly. Try to understand the problem and solve it with logical thinking. You can do various mock tests for DSA before your interview to boost your confidence. Make an effort to truly understand the concepts instead of memorizing them. This will in turn help you in the longer run as well. Number three, sticking to just technical part. Companies always look for employees who are not just good in their domain, but are overall well equipped. This increases your chance of having an upper hand among the other candidates. It is important to show your strength as a team player and an adaptable individual along with the technical aspects. Sticking to one aspect will never help you in any way, even if it means having only a technical job. Number four, not admitting that you don't know the answer. Recruiters are more likely to choose an honest candidate who's willing to learn rather than someone who wants to get their way in all situations. It's okay to say that you aren't sure about something. Everyone cannot be an all-rounder. You can positively reply by saying, I'm not sure about this, but will definitely do research on it. And this will give the impression of you having a positive attitude. Last but not the least, number five, not brushing up programming foundations. A strong foundation always leads to a durable building. Sometimes we only focus on bigger problems and forget about the core important basics. The same holds true for all full stack developers. Being prepared with CSS, DSA and HTML is as necessary for an interview as the advanced concepts. Hold on, here's a bonus tip for you. Be confident and always put up a smile on your face. This makes a huge difference. So next time, if you're sitting for an interview, keep these points in mind. If you learned something new from this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. See ya.